Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm here to give you my thoughts on Luton drawing 1-1 at home against Swansea. Before we talk about the game itself, the game of course was delayed by 15 minutes. This was due to treatment for a Luton fan in the Kenny end who needed medical treatment and well done to all the staff who managed to give that Luton fan that medical treatment. At the moment, we've been told he is alive and is doing okay, which is absolutely fantastic. And it all came from everyone helping and giving that individual Luton fan the medical treatment they needed. So that is absolutely great news. The game itself, if we talk about the starting 11, the one thing that I was particularly worried about with the starting 11, I didn't feel like we had a player in that starting 11 that was capable of exploiting Swansea's high line. Because I spoke about this quite um, often, well, quite a lot in, in a lot of detail in my match preview, that I felt we needed someone in the midfield that could pick out a pass, that could put a ball in behind the back line of Swansea because they play a high line and then we can run onto those types of balls and cause the Swansea defence, all sorts of problems. And we kind of didn't really do that at all throughout the game. But what we did learn from the start of 11 is that Ted and Menji has been confirmed that he will be out injured um, for a couple of months. He has suffered a knee injury in training. He had an operation this morning. And Baptiste has got a calf injury, which is even more frustrating because he's a player that frequently keeps getting injured and a game like today i felt like we needed someone like him who can exploit a back a high back line um, which swansea were playing but we were unable really to do that so that's really frustrating because baptiste keeps getting injured so yeah my biggest concern when i saw the starting 11 was how are we going to score today and the way we got our goal was through a mistake. Now, condi uh, the conditions on the pitch, it was horrible. I'm still wearing my coat because I'm still cold. The wind was all over the place. And in the second half, I felt we should have proper, like, properly took advantage of that. But we were against the wind in the first half. And a mistake happened um, from the Swansea back line. A r really poor um, back pass to the goalkeeper. Elijah was... There, alerted, high pressing, managed to get beyond the goalkeeper and a very nice calm finish to put to put us 1-0 in front. I thought the tempo of the game, it was just so slow. I know the weather had a massive um you know part in that, but it just felt for both for both teams a slow tempo game. And I was quite shocked with Swansea because the way they like to play football is possession based. They want to keep the ball. They want to play, play this pretty stuff. But they were moving it so slow to the point where we weren't, we were at times, we were able to press them, but then also at times not able to really do anything. And the game just kind of like took forever to end, especially in the first half. But. Look, we got, went in at half-time, 1-0 up, and that's perfect, you know. And how I was thinking at half-time was, if we, the only way we would drop points is by making a mistake. Otherwise, I feel like we could walk away with the three points then and then. I actually predicted a boring 0-0 game, because that's how it felt. And the first, like, 15 minutes, it felt like it was going that way. But then the second half started and I thought we were better when we came out in the second half. I thought we upped the tempo a little bit. We were moving the ball quickly and then we managed to take an advantage of another Swansea mistake in, in our attacking half. Hashi and, and Elijah are working together extremely well. Elijah with a really good um, shot away. Great save from the goalkeeper. That could have easily have been 2-0. I just remembered a few things in the first half in terms of what Swansea were doing in the first half because they were a little bit slow the only way they were getting opportunities in the first half was for our mistakes so it, it was either when we were playing out from the back and we were just misplacing passing or we weren't clearing the ball properly because they did get a few opportunities in the first half but I felt like nothing too serious to cause us too many problems but back to the second half and after that Elijah Adebayo opportunity, which could have made it 2-0, we kind of didn't really create anything after that. We were really poor from that moment on, um, onwards. Elijah had to come off. He looked like he picked up a knock. And I thought Brown was really good when he came on. I thought he's high pressing. 
um, he tried his best to cause as many problems um, for the Swansea defence, um, putting them under pressure for them to keep losing the ball. I thought he'd done extremely well at doing that. And also Brown has that bit of pace about him so he can get in behind if we do pick him out. Um, but then Swansea, they just figured out a really good um, set-piece routine. And it's the same again from Luton. We keep getting fooled by set-piece routines. We were caught sleeping. A ball it got drilled to the edge of the box and it was a fantastic finish. I think it was from Grimes um, past Thomas and there was no way he was going to save that. But the frustrating part about that corner was we were ball watching. You know, No one's picked up the, the player on the edge of the box and it could have happened after that um, quite a few times because we just weren't picking up the player on the edge of the box. And then once Swansea got that goal, it was pretty much all them from that moment onwards. They were moving the ball quickly, but we're, and then also creating loads of opportunities. I think Thomas kept us in it quite a few times. Kaminsky, so many good saves um, throughout the game. But for us, that was really it. We we got when we were attacking, we were getting into the attacking half, but we weren't doing anything. We weren't shooting on sight. I didn't think we were putting enough crosses into the box. Now, when you play with two target men like Elijah Alabeo and also Morris, you want to put crosses into the box. Even Brown as well. I think he's quite good in the air. We weren't putting balls into the box. And I'm like, why is our wing-backs not getting up high and attacking? And I felt we were far too cautious. Um, I thought we got into so many positions where we could have had a shot at goal, shoot on sight. We are very reluctant to do that. And it's just frustrating at times. And I, and we didn't really have a plan B in what we were trying to do. I feel like we were just hoping Swansea was just going to make another mistake. And I don't think Rob Edwards really trusts the players that were on the bench. He made two subs. I think two of the subs were forced. Elijah was limping for Brown. And then also Amari Bell picked up a knock. Um, so Mans Anderson came on. I thought when Amari Bell came off, I thought that was the perfect opportunity to maybe bring on, um, to change the system a little bit. Maybe bring Joe Johnson and play him as a left back and push Moses further forward. Um, because we know Moses' strengths is attacking wise and to put those balls into the box. We didn't really do that. And I just felt... We just weren't going to score again. I really didn't think we were going to score. And I felt towards the latter stages of the match, I thought the game was just going to go to Swansea. I thought they were going to go on to win it. And I still feel like if the game went on for another five minutes, I think Swansea would have got that second goal. I really do. And I, I have a lot of questions with Edwards, tactically on how we set up and also how we just remain the same in throughout the game we didn't try and change it um i thought we got it completely wrong today and unfortunately that is another two points dropped from a winning position something which we've got to look at there were of course a few standouts i did like kraus and his pressing ability the amount of times he won the ball back um in swansea's half and also his recoveries um I did like Tom Holmes. I actually thought I saw some leadership from Tom Holmes with his communication. Um, I saw him talking um, to the defenders. I thought he performed well, and he's got a massive opportunity now. Now Ted and Menji's out for a few months. There were good saves from Thomas Kaminsky. I feel like we're missing Alfie massively. We're missing someone who's attacking down that left-hand side. I just don't know where we're going to score goals playing this way. If we're not going to put balls into the box, I just I struggle to know how we're going to score. Um, but I'll go into detail in in tomorrow's video about that. But that's the end of my um, of this video. I think I want to say a point was a fair result, but I thought to what the way the game was going, I felt like Swansea were just going to go on to win the game. But I felt we were going to get a draw. And I, I have to be honest, I don't feel confident we'll get a win at home to Stoke if we carry on playing the same way we're playing. But, um, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy listening to my thoughts. I'm glad it's not a defeat, so I'm not too you know negative. I'm happy that we've not lost the game. But I still think there's plenty of work to be done, and I just don't think Edwards is the right man to do that work, if I'm being honest. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.